Hey guys! Welcome to DTF Gears. Today we are back with some helpful features of CADLink which will help you get started how to use it efficiently. We will talk about sizing the images, cropping, making multiple images with features like copying or duplicating it. So let's get started. First let's import an image. Wait for the image to generate a preview. Now as we talked we will share some tips. You will often find the images will be imported as a group with this blue down arrow. You can solve this by simply clicking on the image and the clicking right here where it says open page which will bring the image only. For sizing the images, the easiest ways to do that is to drag any corner of the image like this and size it as per your requirement. You can also move around the image by holding it with your mouse on any part of the image. The second way to size an image is to do it from the right size changing the numbers of width and height manually. While doing so you will observe that height and width are locked so changing the height changes the width. You can fix this by unlocking this padlock right here and changing it to blue. And then you can change the height and width independently. Next we are going to talk about cropping the images. CADLink provides an inbuilt feature to crop images. To use this, click on the image and then click on the crop button right here. The crop dialog box will open. Simply click and hold your mouse to create a box around your image and then you can easily manipulate it further to crop the image in your desired way. Then click the create button down right here to save and reflect your changes. Next we are going to talk about the features through which you can use most part of your DTF sheets or rolls to avoid wastages. Please watch and use any of these methods as they fit your work. First method is creating copies by clicking the image and clicking the add copies button right here. This will create just one more cloned copy of your image which I will show you how can be further easily manipulated. Again, this might make a group of your images which you can fix by clicking the open page button as shown in the first part of the video. Now to manipulate your copies, you need simply click the copied group, scroll down here to the copy section where you can add or remove copies. You can add more rows or columns from these X and Y buttons as per your needs. As you do this, you will realize you need paces between images to cut, which you can do this right here as shown in the video. Next we are going to talk about another feature which will help create templates is through duplicating images. First I am going to restore this job to its original form. Then scroll down and click the mirror option and then size the image as per my needs. Then I'm going to click the option of duplicate located in the same section as copies. As soon as you click duplicate, a dialog will open asking how many duplicates you need and you need them either cloned or independent. What do they mean? Cloning will create a cloned image of your present image as it is with any cropping or sizing you have done so far. On the contrary, independent option will create an image just like the source image in its original form. Once you choose your desired option you will notice that the images are duplicated but they are spread out on different pages. To roll them back to same page, click on the white part of the page and click on nest all to bring them back together. I am going to repeat this action if you keep watching this video. Please note that the nest all option will only bring the images to one page as long as the page size allows them. You can create gaps in between nested images with your mouse arrow keys conveniently. As we are on the end of this video, we DTF Gears thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe for sure as we will definitely on track posting for CADLink content for our DTF community. Again thanks for watching, enjoy!